Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of C2H6 molecule and to start with uh, that we first need to look at its Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure of C2H6. There are two carbon atoms forming bonds with six hydrogen atoms over here. Well, if you look at it, uh, these two uh, carbon atoms have symmetric arrangement because both of these are forming bonds with three hydrogen atoms and are sharing a pair of electrons with each other. So uh, instead of looking at its at the complete molecule, we are going to take this carbon atom and have a look at it and decide what is the molecular geometry of this one. So if you look at this a particular atom over here, the central atom over here, it is forming bonds with four atoms at, at a time, out of which three are hydrogen atoms and one is carbon atom. Looking at how uh, it is forming bonds and there are no lone pairs on this atom, it seems that it has tetrahedral structure. If you just uh, visualize this much, you will come to know that, the tetra that it has a tetrahedral structure. And if you use the formula of AXN notation or AXC notation, the AX notation for this would be AX4 and that corresponds to a tetrahedral structure which means that this molecule has a tetrahedral structure and they are forming a bond of 109.8 degrees which means that this bond angle is 109.8 and that is the same for other bond angles too. So uh, the Molecular geometry of C2H6 is tetrahedral. You can also confirm it by using the steric number. But always remember to pick a central atom first and then proceed ahead because that is a that is the most simplest way to uh, understand the molecular geometry. And uh, I hope this video helps you to understand that. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.